okay guys welcome back so in this video I'll be talking about some examples of inequalities so in the last video I finished about talking about the concepts of inequalities so in this video and the videos hereafter I'll be talking about some more examples to remind you about the concepts and as a uh, videos as videos of revision of the concepts of inequalities so in this video I'll be talking about the basic yeah, inequalities uh, or the inequalities of the algebraic expressions or algebraic functions some basic uh, algebraic inequalities all right so I'll take I start from one of the easiest inequalities that you will get this is forms this is forms of inequalities so I'll take something like this so I'll take 3x plus 6 is greater than 7 right 3x plus 6 is greater than 7 so this is a very easy equation now you know that if you get something like this you have a left hand side here you have a right hand side here so if you have something like this what you will do is that in order to solve for x in order to solve for s solve for x you have to isolate x either in the right term or in the left term so what I will do is that I will take this 6 this side so taking this six side, this six this side is also equal to subtracting six from both sides. So if I subtract six from this side, I will get three x, and this side less than greater than will remain here. And if I subtract six from here, it will be seven minus six, which is equal to one. Now since three is not equal to zero, you can divide both sides by three, and you know that three is greater than zero. So the sign of this one, the greater than greater sign will remain in place and you can say that x is greater than one third right x is greater than one third now if you draw that in an equation or in a number line here the x -axis. no need to draw the y axis because we, do, we are not considering about the y axis so I will draw only the x axis in the Cartesian coordinates so if x is greater than one third so zero will be somewhere here so you don't need actually to draw zero right you don't need to draw zero in order to uh, represent this equation so I just right I just drew that so one third will be somewhere here I'll take since x is only greater than one third it is not uh, equal to one third you have to draw the uncolored curve uncolored circle right uncolored circle here and since x is greater than one third all the values that x represent all the values that x represent are greater than one third so that will be from one third to positive infinity so the solutions will be within this range so the solutions of this inequality will be shown as this one so let's take another example what if you are given something like this now if you are given 5 minus 4x is greater than 10 plus 2x No, no, I'll take only 10. I'll take only 10. I'll take only 10. 10 plus 2x is somewhat complex, so I'll do it in another example. So, 5 minus 4x is greater than 10. So, this is, easy, is also similar to the first, first example I mentioned a little while ago. So, the only difference here is you'll note that in a little while. So, in order to solve that, as in the last uh, example I uh, explained to you, I finished explaining to you a little while ago, what you'll do is that in order to solve for x within this inequality you have to isolate x so in order to isolate x what I will do is that I have to take this 5 to this side I have to take this 5 to this side means what I am here is I have a positive 5 here so in order to take this 5 to this side I have to cancel out this side right cancel out this side and isolate x so what I will do is since I have a positive 5 here see I in order to get rid of this 5 I will subtract 5 from both sides so when I subtract 5 from the left side, 5 minus 5 will be 0. So the only term that will be remaining in the left side will be minus 4x. Minus 4x. And the greater sign will be the same. Will be there. And 10 minus 5 here, it will be 5. So in order to solve for x, what I do is I have to divide both sides by minus 4. So what is happening here is that what differentiates this sort of example from the above solution or the solution that I finished discussing a little while ago is that now you have to divide this by a negative integer 
since dividing and negative when dividing some inequality by the negative integer you have to change the sign whether this is greater than or greater than equal or whether this is less than or less than equal unlike in the cases of equalities uh, in the case of inequalities when you divide by a negative value you have to change the sign right so negative dividing by this sign will change the sign so this is this is greater than what actually happens is that you have to change the sign to less than so first of all i divide by negative one and then i'll divide by the integer part. so when i divide by negative one what i remain here is that 4x 4x is now less than less than because i have to change the sign when it is greater than i have to change it to less than when it is less than i have to change it to greater than and when it is greater than or equal i have to change it to less than or equal when it is less than or equal i have to change it to greater than or equal so here is greater then so I have to change it to less than so 4x is equal to now 5 divided by minus 1 is equal to minus 5 now since I am dividing this since I am dividing this by a positive integer I don't have to change this I have to change the I don't have to change the inequal sign so x will be equal to greater than, uh, less than x will be less than minus 5 by 4 because 4 is not equal to 0 so actually you can do these two steps at once you can directly say you can directly divide it by minus 4 just I am explaining to you to understand if you are not well versed with inequalities right if you are not well versed with the uh, basic concepts of inequalities so first of all you need to convert this like this so this is actually time consuming if you have a long equation or long solution to be solved so this is time consuming and this is actually unnecessary solving this in two steps first of all what you can do is that you can divide both sides by minus 4 so since dividing both sides by a minus value changes the sign here will be the sign will be like this because here is a greater than you have to change the sign to less than and when you divide this side by minus 4 you, what you will get is x here and when you divide this side by minus 4 phi divided by minus 4 will be minus phi upon 4 so you get the same solution here what you are, what can you do is that you can minimize the steps right you can minimize the steps you can directly write this from here without going for another step so that's the solution and if you draw that in a number line if you draw this in a number line so you will get zero somewhere here and you will get minus 5 by 4 so minus 5 by 4 is minus 1.25 so that will be less than zero so it will be here somewhere minus 5 by 4 and since this is not equal, since, since this is not equal, right, it will be uh, uncolored circle here. And x is less than means x is further going towards the negative side, further going towards the negative side. Now this is actually the positive side. This is actually the positive side. So x is further going to the negative side. You see, you have to color this part. So all the values, all the values within this range from minus 5, one, five by 4 to minus infinity will tally this inequal alright so what actually happens now these, these are the only concepts that you need to know here you need to know here now if you are given some equal let's see how the number line is shared now I explained to you in one of my previous videos on the basic concepts of inequalities but let's see another example in which we have to solve an uh, inequality with an equal sign so if you are given something like this x plus 2 x plus 2 is greater than or equal to 7 x plus 2 is greater than or equal to 7 so this is very easy so in order to uh, solve for this you have to isolate x in order to solve this you have to isolate x so in order to isolate x what you have to do here what you have to do is that you, since we have a positive 2 here you have to eliminate this part so in order to eliminate positive 2 what you have to do is I have to subtract 2 from both sides so this will be sub, uh, x plus 2 minus 2 will be x so the left hand side will be x and the sign remains it's the same and 7 minus 2 is 5 so if I draw that in a number line so here will be, x. So here'll be 5 here somewhere I need I need draw 0 I need not draw 0 I directly draw 5 because 0 is not actually needed because there's no relationship with this equation with 0 so since this is equal now since you got an equal sign here equal sign here you have to color this. You have to color. You have to color this circle. And since x is greater than a five, all the values that are greater than five will tell you this inequality. So.
So the solution range will be such that like this, right? So all the values from 5 to positive infinity will tally this inequality. So that is about just about reminding about the basic concepts of inequalities, basic uh, theories that you learn under inequalities. So in the next video I will be talking about some complex inequalities. See you then.